Mom with some big carbs out the back and two of the best here in West Oz going head to head in an all Australian matchup as B. Durbage takes on Josh Kerr. Joe Chappelle alongside one of the most successful surfers of all time in Martin Potter. Wants a lot of opportunity and he's loving the numbers here at the main break. Let's get caught up with this one. Yeah, B. Durbic uh, out of the blocks firing uh, Josh Kerr, obviously, yesterday. Both these guys had kind of had uh, marginal heats. Joe was kind of uh, inconsistent out there at North Point to uh, plenty of waves coming through, and it looks like he's already going to open his count. So Josh Kerr setting up his opening strike on a wave that's provided him a lot of podiums in the past. Set up carve on this facing section right there. He'll just lean back to change the flow on the layback carve. Another hook on the open face, hits it higher off the lip, a tough section to hang onto your board, and wow. he'll get taken out right at the end of the finish. Let's see them go for it. Josh Kerr here, nice swooping maneuver. As you said, not catching a wave in his heat yesterday, so he's already bet at that. Another beautiful layback turn there, just showing some variety. Not a lot of vertical face on this wave, but just a nice opener for Josh Kerr. And right here, big layback jam, and then you can see those two white waters colliding and just taking the board away from Josh Kerr. So. Not a bad little warm-up uh, score for him, but uh, a different-looking guy here today. Having a look out the back, Pete Derbich. He's got one of the best frontside hooks in the game and jams it off the roof. Bottom turn, had a lot of chatter, but he maintained speed. Now it's going flat. He'll come out of that rebound section and hope he can line up a finish. Now just a little tap on the inside corner is going to avoid the rocks on the inside. He just needed a 2.01 for a lead change. You know he wanted more out of that inside connection. But it's all about this first bottom turn, trying to get that board to hang in and right there, beautiful snap off the top, throwing buckets of water into the sky. And the downside of riding a smaller board though is it's harder to hold that rail off the bottom and get that real projection up and in, into that first turn. So it's, uh, it's a real critical uh, part of the wave and that's where the big points come from. Beat Durbin turns in a 4.93. Majority of that whole number was on that first hack out the back. Um, and, but for bigger waves, I'm pretty much riding this, this model. It's a SG-1 semi-gun. Um, I've been riding these boards in Hawaii, you know, here and, uh, um, you know, when it's big. So it's, uh, it's been working pretty good and uh, thanks, Marcia. <laughs> Well, there you have it, Toledo on through round three. Congratulations. Thank you, Strider and Felipe Toledo as we get right into live action. Kersey on the first one, now B. Durbage on the next wave. Durbo, big, full, healthy hook right in front of Kersey. Stays on his feet for a big finish. As he waits for the section to, uh, to unfold, now he reacts. It didn't quite connect there, so look, timing a little bit off. Now he knows he's got to really crank it up. Bangs it off the white water and well, goes down. A very uncharacteristic maneuver, but watch this one from Bede right in front of Josh Kerr. It's making him pay for it. Beautiful turn right there. And again off the bottom, nice, smooth, clean surfing from Bede Durbage. So, Bede Durbage, he's got the lead already, and he's going to extend that lead and apply a little bit more pressure on Josh Kerr. Nice little slash under the lip there, nothing too crazy. This turn right here, nice, clean wrap around, set that rail nicely, and uh, Bede finishes off. So, it's going to be a good score for Bede. Let's have a look at the slow-mo right in front of Josh. This is what you want to do. This is intimidation right here. This is saying to, you, to your opponent, have a look at how good I'm surfing. <laughs> right on the money. If you get the opportunity, you want to spray your friends in the face. What yep. about your competitors? Even more. To show them you're in form. Nice, clean wrap. Just showing that his hips are looking solid. He's well recovered. And sometimes Bede said he maybe feels a little bit better now that he's... Uh, yeah, Beats no slouch out here. So he's, uh, he draws a beautiful line. And look at this way for Kersey. Kersey now in the barrel, trying to punch his way free. He gets the completion into a crab rail carve. He'll pick that one out of the water and continue to wrap it back into the zone. Tough finishing move with two big sections colliding. <laughs> and he almost wow. hung on to that. He just got evaporated on that inside there. That's how hard that is. The back yeah, here. I want to see this. Uh, th this I like, but the next, the turn, I, I think is better. Watch this turn as he comes out, grabs a rail, and just jams it all the way back around. That was some innovation right there. We talk about how hard it is to, you know, show innovation, and then right here, just gets absolutely pulverized.
but yeah, the, the tube was nice, but I think the turn was better. Nice barrel, not a clean exit, so that's not going to hurt too much. But right here, just jamming it in there. That looked different. It looked unique. I like it. Always love the creativity out of Josh Kerr, even on the open face. Beat Dervish to answer. Well overhead on this first strike. He'll just clean it up with a top turn carve. Looks over his shoulder and wraps it. Wait for this wave to bowl up on the inside. He's got the lip to hit. Hits it hard and he'll finish. Yeah, I mean, he's won in all different kinds of conditions, hasn't he? And this is a kind of wave that really suits him. He's a big guy, draws a nice long arcing turn, sets the rail and just uh, really doesn't move his feet too much. Keeps that back foot on the pad. Solid surf. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's one of those competitors. You know, you ask the top guys in the world, who's one of the toughest guys to surf against? And 90% of them will say be a derbage. During the break, we had some more waves ridden. Josh Kerr on this one. Yeah, Josh Kerr looking for the barrel. Well, he's got one already. And a good score to get himself back in the heat. There's that beautiful, smooth, arcing turn and gets absolutely swamped by the white water. You kind of want to stay away from that white water, it seems to me. As soon as you touch it, it'll, it'll just knock you right off. Heat on the next one. Setting up the bottom turn into that front side hook. It's a reliable start for Pete. He's not going to commit to the inside corner. He's already had a few waves in that four and five range. He felt Worst results in the last few seasons out here. Always reliable to make it through at least to the final series. And yeah. Josh Kerr, 11.34 total. And Bede getting a comeback victory to the tour here. He had Connor Coffin get a final decision off him at Snapper Rocks. And now Bede will get another shot.